with the Boston Celtics, what would a championship for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown finally mean for both of their legacies? Man, it would mean the absolute world for him because, look, the, the discourse around Tatum, I'll just speak for Tatum specifically right now, man. If Tatum wins this ring, it shuts a lot of the haters up, a lot of the haters up because of the way it would have to happen. I mean, honestly, technically, technically, they really do have a good enough team to where, like, there could be a world where, like, he plays, like, good, you know, obviously, like, 25 a game, and maybe Jalen Brown just goes off and wins finals MVP. So I guess there is a world where he doesn't have to light the world on fire to win the chip. But regardless, though, um, I think real – basketball like people who really know what they're talking about would still even if say Jalen brown was to win finals mvp people you would still know that jason tatum is a better basketball player than Jalen brown it would obviously be like what you just said with the whole look they're giving me their best defender they're focused on stopping me Jalen brown has an easier matchup he just got it going let's just ride the hot hand type of thing so um reality it, it still would be great for him as far as Getting that monkey off his back of a lot of people saying that he cannot win a ring as a best player. Like, a, there's, a, there's a good amount of people who think, like, look, he's not a number one on a championship level team. Like, he does, he's not. That's so but, delusional, bro. What, okay. I'm, bro, I'm telling you. It, like, That's I'm, insane. This is, this is, listen, this is from, like, Twitter, like, just whoever on Twitter to, like, on TV, sports media people. Like, listen, I don't think Tatum is a number one on a championship level team. I the whole thing is, like, I don't think he has the mentality of a number one. He's too inconsistent, blah, 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 blah. So that would shut a lot of that up, which honestly would be best case scenario for, for Tatum. So not have to deal with that anymore because personally, if they don't want to ring this year, I don't think that talk is ever going to go away. Mm -hmm. Unless actually, you know, goes a crazy one, run and wins run, wins one. But it would shut a lot of that up, which would be great for him. Um, it would justify, you know, the Jalen Brown contract. It would justify – them keeping them two together because they remember there was a point in time where a lot of people mm -hmm. was like, trade split one. them, you gotta split them up, they're never gonna win together. So that would justify that. It would make sense for them, it will be a, a good look for them going all in, getting Chris Stops and Drew Holiday and things like that. Joe Missoula would be a good look for him. Yes, I was gonna mention that, that'd be a great <laughs> look for him, yeah, because he's super young coach. Um, because not to cut you off, but. Mm. The conversations I do be hearing people sneak it in there. Mm, if Ime was the coach, this wouldn't be happening. Or Ime was here, still here. Maybe they wouldn't have been, you know, we wouldn't be having these conversations about Tatum, this, that, whatever. Like, I'm not mad at them combos. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, nah, not, not hearing it. Bro, like, I'm not gonna lie. Stats e don't back it up. E this offense, the fourth quarter offense was sketchy under Ime, too. Don't fall to the victim. I'm to, just to the top e goals, had them bro. boys in line, though. Ime <laughs> had them boys locked. I'm, I'm just a fan of Ime and Doko, man. Ime and Doko was a really good coach. But no, nah, I, I, I hear what they say. No, I hear what they say. Like, look, you know, it's, it's easy to. It's really because of the Missoula style of play. I feel like I feel like it yeah. was it wasn't as three or die with uh with Ime Udoka. I think that's 100%. the biggest thing. Um, but you know each coach has a different style. Regardless, though, you're not making it this far with a, with a flat out terrible coach. I don't care what the team is like. So, but like I said, it would shut a lot of that up, and that would definitely give him at least job security for a, a while if they were to win a ring. Um, so it would be great for him, especially being so young to be able to get a ring this early would be great. Um, and it could justify, you know, just the, this style of basketball. Like, look, I have people hating on it, but it got us a ring. You know what I mean? So that would be great for him. But I think the biggest thing, obviously, would just be getting the monkey off his back for Tatum. Like, look, I did it. Like, I can be a number one on a championship level team. I can get us this far. So I think that would be good for him. You hit the nail on the head. It would shut the narratives up for well, the Celtics are always a good team. They always make it to the conference final, but they can't never do it. They can't never do it. They've been to – JB and Jason Tatum have been to, what, five conference finals already? This might be their fifth or sixth one, mm -hmm. and they don't have a ring yet. What do they have to show for it? And the, the Twitter discourse is nasty. The NBA media discourse is nasty. If they were able to win a championship this year, you got it the same way. I feel like the switch flipped with Giannis, where I think Giannis had really started to reach that point. I don't know if Giannis ever got his bad as it's gotten with the Celtics and with Tatum and JB respectively. But it's those conversations started to come up about like, ah, can we, can Giannis ever get over the hump? Is he going to get over the hump? And then as soon as he did, all I got to do is build a wall. We ain't heard nothing about that ever mm -hmm. since. 
Um, and so I think them being able to potentially win a championship this year would really silence all that. Second championship, if, if again, if this were to happen for Drew Holiday, another underrated thing, Al Horford finally would get a ring after being on so many good teams. His, his career just never able to get that job done. Chris Stapps would be a champion. Tingus Pingus. Dingus, dingus, who the fuck is dingus, dingus? <laughs> I, if you win a ring, I need that dude to make a film, my follow up to that video, Back. bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously him getting a championship would be would be huge for his career because a lot of people thought that the fit and you know he was good in New York. He dealt with the injury stuff, and then obviously he goes to Washington, and that's like purgatory for an NBA career. But quietly, he kind of really reinvented himself a little bit in Washington. He started to find his identity a little bit more. I, I almost be forgetting sometimes he played in Dallas, which is crazy to think about. He um, did play in Dallas. Oh, they had that. God. That man was sitting in the corner. I corner, forgot he played in Dallas. Spot up glass cleaner. That goes wow. you know, sit in that corner for Luca. You just didn't unlock the memory for me, bro. Right. <laughs> right. Bro, people don't, I feel like that don't even get mentioned. We think about New York because he's the unicorn. He comes in. He he doing all this great stuff, 7-3. And it's like, ah, yeah, he was in Washington. And he went to Boston. Right. He was in Dallas. <laughs> I, bro. Forgot, like, I not forgot he played for Dallas. That, bro. <laughs> yeah, so that would be, that'll be huge for his career for a guy who, it's not unfair to say, he's kind of bounced around a little bit. Um. But obviously, we know talent-wise he get there, but was able to hopefully, if he can get this calf situation, you know, sorted out, come back healthy in time for the the finals, and then if he's able to win, gets his ring. But, but again, like you said, more importantly than anything else, get the monkey off of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown's back. I think bigger than anything, I don't even care about you know the what people have said about Jason Tatum, whatever they don't think he could be the number one on championship team. I think bigger than all of that would really be, like you mentioned, justifying keeping Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown together because, bro, that discourse was loud for a long time. Every single year they didn't win a championship, it just got, got louder and louder. Like, I, these guys can't play together. They can't win together. You're never going to win a championship with the both of them on the roster. And like, people have been saying that for a long time. And the, they, it's little nuggets of trying to break them up every single year. Like I just mentioned, every year we see maybe Jalen Brown is the alpha on the Celtics team because he has a 40-point game in the playoffs. Um, all of that would have to quiet down if they were able to pull us off this year. And I think that would be the biggest takeaway, um, obviously from the fact that it's like, in theory, they're still youngish. Um, to be able to get their first ring, and that could set them up for potential chance to go off and get, you know, maybe they could rattle off another one next year, or you know, just be in that constant contention to, you know, get two or three throughout the course of their career, and then um, on top of that, bring the Celtics back to a place of relevance because that 2008 championship be doing a lot of work for Boston. Bro. If they didn't, if they didn't have that one. We'd be Civil looking right at chips. we would be <laughs> we would be looking at a 40 year championship drought in Boston. I don't mm. think people be thinking about that a lot. Bro, not I, since if Paul Pierce, KG, and Ray Allen didn't get it done that one year in 2008 with Doc Rivers and Ray John Rondo. We this Boston Celtics would not have an NBA championship since Larry Bird and Kevin McHale were on the roster, since Converse was the leading shoe brand in the NBA. Cell phones were invented. The internet didn't exist. It's it's crazy because like I don't even like as a Lakers fan like the whole Celtics Lakers rivalry like it's not as like potent as it was before. But that's the one thing I hate about Boston when Boston fans, we're title town. This is title town. We bro, y'all had Bill Russell carry y'all in chips <laughs> when it was like six teams in the league and right. playing in black and white and dudes was five <laughs> two. You're like, bro, get out of here, bro. I'm Dude, not people doing... can't even drink at the same water fountain, bro. That's what are we talking saying? about? It was segregation hoops. What are we talking about? So that junk pisses me off a little bit. Title down. Like, I got I got the one that's saving y'all. But even then, 2008 was a long time ago, bro. Nice. It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, I, I agree with everything you said. Though. I agree with everything you said. Two more things I do want to say, too. Um, It will also add more validity. And 
hopefully, I don't know if he'll actually do it because some it's, it's always like this. It's happening right now, with Anthony Edwards. It will it will add more validity and give more reason to reason to relax when a guy does not win a ring before the age of like 26, 27. Thank like, you. Anyway, we hear it all the time, but it's like no one actually believes it. LeBron didn't win till like what twenty seven. Jordan didn't win right. till what twenty six, twenty seven. Like that's the age that you win the rings, bro. That's when you put everything together. It steps in the NBA. You know, you come yeah. to a bad. The Tatum is a little bit different. He didn't just flat out come to a bad team. But for most people, you start with a bad team. All right, you the team sucks. No one cares. Then you know, good stats, bad team guy. Then okay, playoffs, the first round. Okay, Western Conference Finals. All right, championship. Maybe lose a ch- uh, finals. Right. Okay, you break through. That it, that's how it works. But it's like Tatum. It's like because they were so good, so young. It's like why don't you not have a chip yet? So it would add more validity to that aspect. Um, but on the flip side, if we're really talking legacy and like personal legacy, the only thing that it wouldn't do for Tatum, I'd say, he still wouldn't be viewed as like a top three player. Or top like he would, yeah. he would. I don't think he will. I don't think there's anything he could do. It's, Unless he does not. multiple to to win uh, to be in that conversation, so that's but, the only but, downside. Even if he did, bro, I think the conversation just is: what well, the Celtics are just a stacked team. He got that's JB true. with him. You know, what I mean, I don't. I, I think you were right at first. I don't know if there's anything Jason Tatum could do to really be considered a top three player, other than come out next year and start killing thirty five a game. Like, yeah. he, he would have to go crazy, just because we know we're getting from Jokic, we know we're getting from Luca. Giannis. At this point, I think it's fair to say I know we get from Shea. I know we get from Giannis. Embiid. Embiid. Healthy. Right. Like, that's five guys right there I think are comfortably, I would say, better than Tatum. Um, so, yeah, he, he would have to get to another another Ain't. level in his game to even mm-hmm. get into that conversation. But, that, look, it's not needed. It's clearly not needed for them to get to what everybody is playing in the NBA for. So, that's okay. Yeah. It's true. But – so yeah, that would be interesting chip if they were to if they were to win it, man. Interesting definitely, conversations. It definitely would be. The, I would love, bro. Twitter is gonna go crazy because it's a bunch mm-hmm. of people that are Tatum fans or Celtics fans. That's gonna be on everybody's head, and people are gonna be trying. I I know for a fact the backtracking is gonna happen, but oh, but the Celtics are the stacked team. Who cares? Whatever. They ain't play nobody on their way to the. Nah, shut it up. Shut it up. Mm-hmm. 